Good evening. Uh, my name is Tan Lim, and I'm Korean. And I came to Netherlands four years ago to study in Design Academy Eindhoven. And last year, I graduated from a department called Men and Leisure. And to give you an idea like what kind of design I learned, because it's not typical design that you can find some from somewhere else. So I will introduce a bit about what is Men and Leisure department. Uh, the term of leisure we use in our department is a bit different from how we use in normal life. It's not about vacation activities, but it's more about the moment we have in our life, but excluding the time that we use to survive, but it's rather the moment that we used to make our life a bit different from other people's. And we try to investigate about this moment and try to find the, what we can do with our creativity. And so first, the, our topic normally it's socially engaged topic and it's really broad so we can swim around and find our own fascinations and try to dig in by researching in different areas. It can be such as the political research or philosophical, can be literature or art. And then we try to deliver this message into like proper medium. So the result is always a bit diverse. It's never really only about product design, but can be fashion, can be installation, even events, or even one of my friends made a law. So that was um, kind of explanation about our what we all studied because we are all from the same department. So I, today I brought one of my graduation projects which was the biggest challenge that I had because of the topic we had was international peace and justice, which is, was the biggest scale of context that I have. So at the first, I wanted to run away from this assignment because, yeah, normally I'm focusing on my stories, my personal stories, this coming from my personal experience or my observation in our daily life. But now I have to work with this outside of my comfort zone. So first I was thinking why I'm so scared. It's ironic to think in that way because I'm from Korea and I'm facing the international conflict every day, not only with North Korea, but also with China and Japan. But maybe I was exposed to this annoying news every day. Maybe I became a bit ignorant. And but so when I was visiting to The Hague, to visit all different kind of institutions which is working for international peace and justice. I was a bit skeptical, like, what can I do about it? I'm not so familiar with it. But after I visited Peace Palace, where the International Court of Justice is located in, I changed my attitude totally after speaking with people there. They're dealing with, like, biggest conflict in the earth, like, conflict between nations. And the attitude they have, like, full of hope and dignity, it makes me feel really ashamed about my attitude before. So I decided to work for them, and I was looking for what kind of problem they have that I could contribute to solve it, which was communication problem. Since they are so important, because uh, even though they're so important institutions, not so many people are aware of their importance, and they had communication problem with publics, uh, but their credibility depends a lot upon the public trust, they try different ways of communicating, such as text or films, documentaries, but language barriers often exist, which prevent the public from understanding their messages. So I thought I need a new medium, which can be more accessible and more touchable, which was clothing for me. I'm not a fashion designer, but I just chose this medium because I found the fact that they don't have any uni official uniform for people who work there, of course, they have like really historical judges' robe for inside of the court, but they have nothing for outside of the court when they're actually meeting people like who like public. Mm -hmm. So the suit that I designed is uh, for people who are working working in the International Court of Justice, but more to be worn outside of the court when they're present standing as a representative of international law and justice. So. Uh, for the designing the suit, I needed the contents, and I found four important symbols related to peace and justice in front of the gate of the Peace Palace, which was Pax Justicia, Concordia, Amicia in Latin, and it means uh, peace, justice, peace, reunion, and friendship. And to represent the, ju the 
justice. I took the shape and color of judge's robe they have. Once I was in the court to see how it's going, and when judges enter with this big, heavy, and black and white robe, I, f I, was, I became so emotional and I feel big trust and big authority from there. So I tried to imply them into the shape of the suit <laughs> <laughs> and color. And to talk about peace, uh, I know that white dove is widely used for the symbol of peace, but I didn't want to use it because it was uh, a lot about religious meaning. So I was trying to use more mutual meaning of peace and I found this bird called Halcyon, it's kingfisher. And this bird used to be a symbol of peace because they're, they're uh, laying egg during the winter on the sea. And they know exactly when the sea will be calm for two weeks. And so people will take this indication as, a, oh, this bird is bringing calm sea, so it will bring peace for human beings. So that's, and this uh, bird has beautiful colors, so it is embroidered into different place into the suit. And also it, um, I designed cufflinks and also buttons for the suit. Oh. And third one was Concordia. It means peace reunion. And I took the hand shaking shape for the fastener in front. And there is magnet inside and cast it in the rubber, the shape of the hand. So you can close and the open the suit really well. And the uh, last story, I took the origin of love story from Plato. Uh, he talks about this story in the symposium. And he explained that uh, our everlasting quest for our soulmate is because we used to be two-headed, like four arms and four legs. So we were kind of perfect uh, as one. So because we could like eat and read at the same time, but this perfectionist um, make God jealous. So God separated. So that's why we born in imperfection and we seeking for each other and we have to take care of each other. So on the back side of the suit, I separated them into two. So you have to connect them with this uh, button of symbol of peace to make it functioning well. So it also means that you can't wear it alone. Uh, so uh, this suit that I designed is the new way of communicating the value of International Court of Justice, making people who work there more present in the landscape, making people become more aware of their importance. It was not an easy journey from the beginning, but I'm really happy that I could take this opportunity, opportunity to work with this context, which I've never like, do it by myself because it opens up my mind a lot and I, now I see a lot of possibility that I can be engaged in this socially engaged big scale of context. So I hope I can do more collaboration like this in the future. Thank you.